I know even my right. friends. Hey, what you gonna say on Jared's video? Even my friends are tired of hearing about Jared. Look at Doc. I ain't gonna front. Look at Doc. My, friend, my friends get tired of hearing about Swift Jared. <laughs> I talk about him all the time. And this is the, the genius of Mayweather. But uh, we will see a right hand get in by Bertel here. Oh, 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 Maybe we got the best defense in the game, man. Excuse me. And uh, that right hand plus some others were there for Mayweather during the course of this. Three rounds to one. To get Mayweather to the ropes. But he's not Marcos Maidana. When he gets him there, it's not his game. Mayweather, 45 seconds. The crowd on its feet sensing that maybe Mayweather may just close the show here. Whether it's the end or not, Rocky Marciano has company. I do believe Mayweather has coasted to go 49 and 0. Floyd Mayweather, love him or loathe him. A maestro. Man, Floyd is the best ever. They just don't want to give him the credit. And they don't like Floyd. Because he taught trash and back it up. No fight party this time, man. You know? Usually everybody knows Swift throw the best fight parties, but not this time. We chilling today. As you can see, we here with fam, man. Sometimes it's always it's not always good to, you know, party or be around friends. You know, family, family sometimes, man. I'm running, uh, mostly in my mind is, I talk to myself a lot about uh, my trainers and uh, my old trainer, Tom Browner, the things he used to tell me back before I even turned pro. I talk to myself about how it would be if I ever uh, get that pay-per-view time on stage. Thing to left, twist on your left foot too. It's also like how you do the right hand. So you want to step with the jab first, one, two, and you're going to turn with the hook. Three. Teach me a couple of things, let them know that some of the things I learned back when I was green, you know? When you throw your hook, make sure you keep your right hand up. If you throw a hook and if someone hook at the same time, you got to defend yourself. So it's one, two, three. Every time one hand leaves your face, the other one protect you. Team Swift, community outreach. All community. Back to your face. It's on the same level, it comes right back. As quick as it goes out, it should come back. Palm facing the mat, but it doesn't drop down and come back. The easy way I learned is when you bend, kind of try to hide behind your shoulder so that way you wouldn't push, uh, shoot your jab down or bring it back. Put your hand up and try to shoot behind your shoulder so that way. All right, let's go. Hop in the jab. We're gonna go a minute with jabs. A minute, loosen up. A lot of them got some good forms up here. You can tell they bought before. One, two, slip, slip. One, two, slip, slip, okay? I want to see everybody just moving. One, two, slip, slip. You know, they look up to him and uh, 
You know, they're just trying to have one or two fights. Uh, you know, how many amateur fights did you have? I had about 40. 40? 40 yeah. 16 and 0 on the Peter as pro. I mean, that, that's something. You know, it's a blessing, man. It's a blessing. Shake his hand, say thank you. Break it down real loud, like you mean it, all right? Turf boxing on three. One, two, three. Turf boxing. Good luck. Thank you so much. Right here from six to seven, man. I got a special guest this week, and it's going down again like four flat ties in the hoopty. Again, we got my girl Cat. Teller is back in the building, man. My co-host one deuce is on the way, and it's going down like four flat ties right here, man. Today we got a boxer, man. A local boxer coming straight out the DMV, man. I swear, man. What's, what's my what's your record? 16 and 0? 16 and 0, 10 knockouts, man. 10 knockouts, man. So on fifth, that's what it is, man. So we bring it to you right here on Real Talk with Bishop Twan. Introduce yourself, uh, Mr. Swift. Introduce yourself. Let them know, man. Where I'm you Swift, from? Jared Heard, an undefeated professional boxer coming out of PG County, Maryland. Boxing out of Hillcrest Heights Boxing Gym, man. 16 and 0, 10 knockouts. Back, back, back. Introduce yourself, Miss Cat. Hey, hi, world. This is Cat uh, Taylor. I'm the princess of high boxing. How y'all doing out there? Introduce yourself, my man. I'm Ernesto Rodriguez. I'm Jared Hurd's trainer. Okay. Our oh, trainer is definitely in the building. Without him, it wouldn't be no him. So look here. Appreciate you for coming on to the show, everybody. I appreciate y'all for coming to Real Talk. We thank y'all cameramen, too. Definitely. Shout out to the cameramen. Um, I, four cameras on me today, so definitely, man. It's a good look. Right. It's going down right here. We're going to go into one break right now, and we're going to get right back into the interview with my man Swift, 16 and 0. It's not a game, baby. Knockout straight from PG. It's going down right here. Real Talk with Bishop Twan. The music got the Harry Fries. We got the best boxer in town, the best, the best full winner person in the world, you know. DC Bike Life, OTF. I'm at Swift the Hound, my personal bodyguard, you heard me? Hey, yeah, no more man. Swift Heard, Swift the Hound. Yeah. 
respect you on the floor, they try to rush you. Uh, try to give you something, you ever give you something you, they think you can't handle, but already know you prepared for whatever, man. You already know Team Swift, straight to the point, man. Nice, it is what man. it is, bike life PC, man. Best man on the floor right here, man. Y'all come to DC, man. Ain't nobody fucking with me. Straight to the point, man. I got my man Chris on the lane. Ain't nobody forget about the thread here, man. <laughs> yeah, y'all know what it is, man. We out here, man. Straight to the point. All love, man. All love, man. All love, man. All love, man. I have a chance to financially secure myself and my, my family for the rest of our life. I have an opportunity that a lot of people wish or pray they can have. That's what drives me to push hard every day. I don't want to take this opportunity for granted. Come on, Jerry. Coach did here helping me prepare for my November 13th fight on PBC. I want to say thank you. Absolutely. For inviting me to your camera. Hey, he embraces it. the grind, so you know, anytime, but you know, you're gonna see some big things because he's been putting in that work. We've been introducing him to some things about his own body that he didn't know, and uh, you know, he got the skill. Just putting it together with the intensity. Thank y'all. Thank you to uh Tez and the Fox family, man, for, 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 for putting me on, man. I appreciate it. You already know. And he got the grass shirt on. <laughs> I think God chooses certain people to lead. I'm not a shy guy of hard work. I know what it takes to push your body to the next level to achieve what you really want. And when my time is coming, there's, there's nothing out there that's going to stop me from achieving my goal. <laughs> Biggest stage in my life. And I promise you, I'm not gonna let this opportunity go to waste. My parents believed in me 100 percent they, they told me if, if that's what you really want to do, financially, whatever you need, we're back to you. And they have my back. And here I am now, so it's getting better. In order to be a winner, you have to sacrifice. You have to go above and beyond. That means you gotta get up early. You gotta work. You gotta be in the gym on time. That means you sometimes you gotta leave the gym late. Perform on that stage. 